Okay, so now we're going to have a look at bromination, which we take the benzene again. I'm drawing the calculate structure again to begin with, and the relevant hydrogen. Now what happens when we see two bromine atoms is in a bromine molecule together is this has a lot of negative charge on it. So what it actually creates is a dipole delta plus and delta minus and this is instantaneous dipole it's called because it only actually happens very briefly. Normally if we don't have these dipoles, bromine just floating around on its own will just have a nice sort of cloud of electrons like that. However, when it comes near something which has a lot of electron density like bromine, which is why sometimes it is a good idea to draw the Wheeland intermediate because it makes you think of it like that. What happens is it pushes all of the charge to one side and because it's repelling it, it pushes it away from it. And what that does, it exposes a positive side, i.e. the nucleus of the bromine, which is what actually interacts with the bromine ring later on. So anyway, we'll just get rid of those two at the minute. And now that we know why this bromine is a little bit more exposed, its positive nucleus is a little bit more exposed, which means the benzene is going to attack it. And so we have a bit of a bimolecular type of arrows here. One moving in, one moving out. This ends up giving us our intermediate, which has a bromine here. And there's also a bromine minus floating around. But as you'll see later, this plus has to be stabilized by this hydrogen, which then leaves and obviously we're quite the chemist would be quite pleased to know that they've got the bromine attached now but the thing we have to remember is this bromine minus ion is still floating around but as we just said this hydrogen plus is leaving what simply happens is it attacks that to form HBr which as you'll notice we've got a nice stable product no charges and we started with no charges so it's a good balanced equation and just for clarity I can make this into a little bit of a Wheeland intermediate and it looks a little bit messy but it's exactly the same and all we need to, to remember is as I said earlier you keep your diagonal line there and draw a mirror image for this C all around this point if you want to put your positive charge and again Wheeland Intermediate Circle and there we have the finished product.